Hello everyone. So for today, ang topic natin po ay ang blood flow. Ay, our topic for today is to learn about blood flow. But before that, let us pray. Masana, bago natin to araw ni Pe, makuha po natin yung gusto natin yung pagbihal. And ay, wala po kong ma-ready na song ngayon. So, magtatasal na lang po tayo ng the Lord's Prayer. Our Father, who art in heaven, holy be your name, your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Do not bring us to the test, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Okay, guys, this is just a short topic about renal blood flow. Okay, what you will need will be paper paper at saka colored pens pero optional naman yun kasi maarte lang talaga ako <laughs> dahil ang paniniwala ko ay your kaartihan is directly proportional to your kagandahan <laughs> um, kailangan ko mag inarte okay? I want you to have a paper ready and your pens ready kasi gusto ko mag drawing ka din ang sarili mo nephron and blood flow para mas maintindihan mo yung gusto ko ma ipaliwanag Okay. Sa ating kidneys, mayroon tayong tinatawag na nephrons. So, ang nephrons ang ating functional units of the kidneys. Kaya, knock-knock, who's there? Nephron. <laughs> Wala makita. Nephron, who? You used to call me on my nephron. <laughs> Ay, nako. Pag hindi kayo tumawa, umalis na kayo dito. Bawal ang hindi tatawa. <laughs> Okay, kasi kailangan maging masaya ka muna. Sorry, malikot yung kamay ko kasi I only have two hands, you know. So, we have to look at the nephrons and paano daw uh, nagpo-flow ang dugo sa kidneys. Okay? Uh, aalamin natin kung ano yung parts of the nephrons and kung paano nagpo-flow ang dugo sa uh, nephrons. Okay? Uh, sabi natin, pag inaaral natin ang clinical microscopy, ang paggawa ng urine is directly proportional to the amount of blood that enters the kidneys. Pero saan ba nanggagaling yung blood na napupunta sa kidneys? Nanggagaling yun sa tinatandaan na value na 25% of that so-called cardiac output. Ano yung ibig sabihin ng cardiac output? Be, cardiac output refers to that blood pumped by your heart. So, ang ating puso, meron daw tayong puso at ang ating puso ay hati, nakahati sa apat na parts, no? Meron daw tayong tinatawag sa taas na atrium Meron tayong tinatawag sa baba na ventricles, okay? Meron tayong right side ng puso, meron tayong left side ng puso. Kapag tapos na umikot ang ating blood, babalik sila sa puso, no? They are deoxygenated blood through the right side. So, punta sila ng right atrium, punta sila ng right ventricles, pero labas ulit sila ng puso, be. Pupunta sila doon sa lungs. Sa lungs, kukuha sila ng panibagong oxygen. So, pagpunta nila sa lungs, kukuha sila ng panibago, oxygenated na sila. Pag oxygenated na sila, pupunta sila sa left side ng heart. Uh, entering the left atrium and then ang last nilang pupuntahan left ventricle so si left ventricle, ang purpose niya is to pump oxygenated blood papunta sa utak, papunta sa chan, papunta sa intestines papunta sa kidneys, papunta sa everywhere, so it will be the left ventricle which will pump oxygenated blood yun yung purpose niya, at kung ilan man yung blood na lumalabas or pinapump niya yun yung tinatawag nating cardiac output Okay, so 25% daw nung pinapump na blood ni left ventricle ang pupunta sa kidneys for filtration. Okay, e paano na ngayon kung pupunta na siya sa kidneys, ano na yung um, pathway niya? Bago ko yung sagutin, uh, yung basic muna, paano kung hindi kidneys? Okay, kasi sa kidneys, iba. Pero sa ibang organs, ganito siya, be, ba diba? Oxygenated siya, manggagaling sa heart. So, ang magdadala sa oxygenated blood natin ay mga arteries. Pag ang mga arteries ay lumiit-liit, nakakonekta sila sa smaller arteries ang tawag natin arterioles. Ang arterioles nakakonekta sa ating mas maliliit pa, so we have the capillaries. Sa capillaries, doon na natin iahatid ang ating oxygen at ibabalik ang ating carbon dioxide and other substances na kailangang matransport. So, paglabas mo ng capillaries, lalabas ka ng D oxygenated. Okay? And kapag the 
oxygenated ka na, ang magdadala na sa yung type ng blood vessels would be venules. Venules ang mas maliit, veins ang mas malaki. So, in short, um, uh, arteries carry your oxygenated blood. It will then become arterioles and then it will become capillaries. Exchange of substances will occur and then blood will come out through the venules and then going back, uh, going to the veins, going back to the heart and repeat this cycle again. Okay? Tapos ulit lang ulit. Pero kailangan natin malaman yun kasi itong itong um, pagkakasunod-sunod na to mag-iiba to pag nasa kidneys May, merong uniqueness sa kidneys okay so, kidneys. in the kidneys mas maganda be kung mag-drawing ka ng sarili mong nephron at pag nagawa ng sarili mong nephron ang parts mo in summary would be glomerulus and the tubules right so yung glomerulus mo drawing ka dyan number 8 para mas maganda yung itsura ng nephrons Okay, ito yung glomerulus natin. Si glomerulus, nakakabit daw siya sa loob, ay nakakabit, nandun siya sa loob ng ating uh, Bowman's capsule. Okay, medyo tabing yung drawing ko, so pasensya na. Uh, this is our Bowman's capsule, nandun nakalagay ating glomerulus. Si Bowman's capsule ang nakakonekta sa first part of the tubule. The first part of the tubule is your proximal convoluted tubule. Your proximal convoluted tubule will be connected to the loops of Henle. Meron kang pababa, meron kang pataas. So, yung pababa, ang tawag natin doon, descending loop. Yung pataas, ang tawag natin doon, ascending loop. Okay? And then, you have now the distal convoluted tubule. Okay? Distal convoluted tubule will be connected to the collecting ducts. So, kung ilalabel ko tong nephron ko, ito yung glomerulus. Tapos, ito yung part na PCT, proximal convoluted tubule. This is your descending loop of Henle. This is your ascending loop of Henle. This is your distal convoluted tubule. And this is your collecting duct. Siyempre, yung pagkakadrawing kong ito, para lang, mas madali natin maintindihan. Pag sinilip mo to under the microscope, hindi ganito yung itsura niya. Baka mag-expect ka. Okay? Para lang, makita mo na ang parts of the nephron ay nagsisimula sa glomerulus and the tubules. But ang tubules natin may iba't iba pang parts. So, you have proximal convoluted tubule, descending loop of Henle, ascending loop of Henle, distal convoluted tubule, and collecting duct. Ito yung nephron. So, nakapalibot dito yung blood vessel natin para uh, magkaroon ng blood flow. So, I will use a, a different color for my blood vessels. Diba? Sabi natin, be, ang kodigo natin dito dapat arteries, arterioles, capillaries, venous, vein. Yun dapat ang pagkakasunod-sunod. Sa kidneys, anong mangyayari? Tama pa rin naman na manggagaling ang blood sa renal artery. So, magsisimula daw tayo sa renal artery. Okay? Renal artery yan. Tapos magiging afferent arteriole kasi dapat ang sunod sa artery, arteriole. So, this is my afferent arteriole na kakabit sa susunod na part, glomerulus. Glomerulus is actually a capillary. So, considered siya as a capillary. So, tama pa rin tayo, no? Arteries, arterioles, tapos capillaries. Supposedly, dapat magiging venules na tayo and vein. Pero in the kidneys, babalik siya sa pagiging arteriole. Okay? So, may dalawa tayong klase ng arteriole sa kidneys. Okay? Meron kang afferent, meron kang efferent. Okay? So, sa, sa wait lang, lumalabo. Um, sa kwento natin, after you become afferent arteriole, you should be connected to the capillaries, right? So, itong efferent arteriole, connected na rin siya ulit sa another type of capillary in the nephron. So, that would be your peritubular capillaries. Pero, hindi ko siya kayang i-drawing na nakasurround sa ating tubules kasi gugulo. Pero, dito sa drawing ko, tandaan mo lang na ang sunod sa efferent arteriole ay peritubular capillaries. Tapos, si peritubular capillaries, syempre, may iba't iba pa siyang connection, etc., etc., palabas na siya. So, after ng capillaries, magiging venule ka na, and then vein. So, magiging venules ka na, tapos vein, renal vein. Okay? Pero, ang mas mahal ka, maintindihan mo lang yung mula dito hanggang peritubular capillaries. Okay? So, ulitin natin. Renal artery, so renal artery, and then you become afferent arteriole, and then you become the glomerulus, 
and then you become the efferent arteriole, and then you become the peritubular capillaries, and then you become the venules, and then the renal vein. Okay? So, tandaan mo ha, glomerulus is uh, considered a type of capillary. So, capillary pa rin siya. So, in short, in the kidneys, you have two arterioles. You have the afferent arteriole and the efferent. At ano bang pagkakaiba? Ang pagkakaiba, pag afferent ka, ang blood na daradala mo ay papunta pa lang sa glomerulus. Okay? Alam mo naman na sa glomerulus, doon nagkakaroon ng filtration kasi meron ka dyang filtration barrier. So, kung ang blood ay mga, may mga substances na mapipilter, mapipilter yon at mapupunta sa tubules. Pero may mga substances na hindi mapipilter, saan sila pupunta? Babalik sila sa blood through the efferent arteriole. So, that the efferent arteriole will transport blood away from the glomerulus. So, yun yung pagkakaiba nila. This is towards the glomerulus. This is away from the glomerulus. Okay? Imagine mo nakasakay ka sa roller coaster. Ikaw yung daladala ng blood. Tapos pagdating mo dito sa afferent arteriole, pupunta ka na sa glomerulus. May dalawa kong mangyayari sa'yo. You either become part of the ultrafiltrate. Dito ka na, ihi ka na. Or you become part of the blood again. You will brought, be brought back to the blood through the afferent arteriole. Tapos, saan ka na pupunta? Pupunta ka na sa peritubular capillaries. Kung meron mang i-re-reabsorb or isisecrete, dun na yun mangyayari. Okay? Pero hindi ko yun i-discuss online. Ang i-discuss ko lang ngayon is yung pag-flow ng blood. So, again, from the heart, 25% of the cardiac output, okay, 25% of the cardiac output will go to our kidneys via the renal artery, afferent arteriole, glomerulus, afferent arteriole, peritubular capillaries, and then you are connected to the venules, and then the vein. Okay? Bonus, uh, uh, bonus, um, basta bonus. <laughs> ano pang pinagkaiba ni afferent at ni efferent? Kung napansin mo sa drawing ko, mas malaki yung size ng afferent arteriole kesa sa efferent. So, meaning to say, magkaiba pala ang size nilang dalawa. Okay? Mas malaki si afferent, mas maliit si efferent. So, mnemonic. Mnemonic, A, ah, for afferent or ate. Diba? Pag ate ka, mas malaki ka. So, kung gets mo yun, edi gamitin mo. Kung hindi, shut up ka na lang dyan, be. Okay? Yung <laughs> eh, mm, as in, bebe. Bebe. Pag bebe ka, maliit ka pa. Okay? <laughs> Basta tandaan mo lang na afferent arteriole, at efferent arteriole ay magkaiba ng size. Mas malaki si afferent and mas maliit si efferent. And that is to maintain the so-called glomerular pressure. Okay? So, in summary, renal artery, afferent arteriole, glomerulus, efferent arteriole, and then peritubular capillaries, venules, and then the vein exit ka na ng kidneys. Okay? So, kapag... Uh, naging part ka ng ultrafiltrate dito ang daan mo mag, uh, slide ka na sa, per tube, uh, sa proximal convoluted tubule and then the rest of the tubules okay so you become part of the urine so in summary ito na siya mas maganda na yung drawing at mas maayos okay so dapat mag drawing ka ng sarili mo para mas matandaan mo siya okay so parts of the nephron glomerulus proximal convoluted tubule descending loop of Henle descending loop of Henle distal convoluted tubule and collecting ducts ito yung nephron natin but if the question is about renal blood flow it starts from the renal artery then you become afferent arteriole glomerulus and then afferent arteriole and then peritubular capillaries tapos dun na tayo sa network ng mga veins and again veins will carry deoxygenated blood uh, from the organ kung saan man sila nang galing so if it is in the kidneys it will be the renal vein okay i do hope that made that made things a little clearer ay <laughs> nakita niyo ko ano ba tayo balik <laughs> okay so um yeah sa renal blood flow, yun lang ang dapat nating maintindihan and I hope na naintindihan nga ninyo. So, I'm saying goodbye for now and God bless you all. Aral mabuti!